for the November Tokyo Treat Box. I'm very excited. I had a lot of fun with the last box, but also remember again that even if I don't like the snacks, it doesn't matter. Like I'm a picky eater and this is just for fun to experience Japanese culture. So this month's theme is Japan Express and it's said in the book that each a uh, snack is from a different region of Japan. So that's really cool. A way for me to experience different regions foods before I go to Japan myself. Now, oh no. We have more seafood flavored chips, which you know how much I love the octopus ones last time. Okay, so the first thing is these Atsuki Luxury Potato Sea Urchin Flavor Chips from Hokkaido. I actually know a Japan YouTuber from Hokkaido, so that's fun. Um, I'm really scared because all I like seafood, I really hate seafood flavored chips like I did before, but I mean, all about trying new cultures food. So let's give this a go. It's a really big bag. I've never even had sea urchin. Have you had sea urchin, Rick? No? Well, it smells exactly like the oh, octopus chip smell. It. <gasps> smell it. Mm. Wow. Maybe I will be wrong. You know, they look exactly like my favorite chips, which are the sour cream cheddar ruffles. I'm going to take a very small bite because I did not like the octopus flavored chips. So I don't know if I'll like this. actually isn't bad. It actually kind of tastes like the sour cream and cheddar ruffles. I'm excited about this one. It is a chocolate pie from Saitama. Just like the character from One Punch Man, which is Rick's favorite. Okay, I'm really excited. I love chocolates. So finally something chocolate. There was no chocolate at all in the last one. I've been waiting for chocolate. like the apple pies from McDonald's. Oh my god. This tastes like um you know those wafers? Those wafer cookie things with sometimes they had like filling on the inside. That's what this tastes like. It's good. This is Kirby on it. I love the curbs. I love little Kirby. Okay. Oh, it also has, is this Doraemon? I think it might be Doraemon, but I can't tell for sure. It looks a lot like Doraemon. Okay, this is a Takoyaki Umaibo, which is from Osaka. And Osaka is a land of Takoyaki, which is fried dough covered octopus. I'm down. Small bite, I eat the rest. You know what's really funny is that my favorite food is calamari. I freaking love octopus. But do I want octopus flavored chips? No. Sweeter than I thought it would be. What does it taste like? It's got like, <coughs> the taste isn't that bad. But the smell, and I, just so you know, if I was in My Hero Academia, my quirk would be super smell because I have the strongest sense of smell known to man. I can eat that. Okay, you eat it. So this said it's Poriki, which is Poriki brown sugar flavor. Ooh, from Okinawa. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, the, they're crunchy pretzel sticks and they have a brown sugar flavor. I'm excited about these because I love pretzels. Like it is a snack staple with me and my mom to have pretzels and a can of Pepsi because we're Pepsi fans. What? You don't like pretzels? No. I mean, Pocky is basically kind of like flavored pretzels, sort of. That bread. Ooh, brown sugar. Mmm, that's good. That's really good. Corn potage 
from Hokkaido again. More Hokkaido. Um, these cri crispy, crunchy potato snacks with delicious corn potato flavor. Does eating this make you want to take a tri to trip to Hokkaido? Oh, wafers. Like, a, it's a potato wafer this time. Hmm. Mm. Ooh. Does smell like french fries. Hmm. I'm a sucker for french fries. I would eat them every day if I didn't think it would make me have a heart attack. So. That was an interesting flavor, kind of like sour cream and onion chips. Mm. Not bad. Okay. It's a brown sugar bar from o Okinawa. Ooh. I see more chocolate in the box. There's a very much a theme here with chocolate and brown sugar. Rick uh, thought this was a turd earlier when he was looking at the box. It does kind of look like it, but you know, a lot of chocolate or brown sugar things look like turds. Just make sure you keep thinking of that while you eat it. I'm not going to think about that when I eat it. Turds. Mm. It is <laughs> very sweet, but it's good. It's a kibidongo from Okiyama. Mm. It's a sweet candy stick which features Momotaro himself on the packaging. It's a sweet peach flavor. Momotaro. It's sweet peach and I love peach flavor things. Oh. Peach tea is like the only tea that I actually like. So. Why don't we get peach tea? Huh? Why don't we get peach tea? Because I'd rather my liquid of choice be coffee. Mm. It has like powdered sugar on it. Mm. Make sure you don't cut that out. I won't. They make you work for your food. Ooh, it's like a gummy texture. They also like gummy stuff in Japan. It's like a peach flavored Tootsie Roll is what it tastes like. And yeah, it's like a sweet peach Tootsie Roll. Hey, chocolate, 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 chocolate. Think it looks like chocolate. Yes. All right. I don't taste a peach. No, it is. Is chocolate dorayaki from Tokyo. Um. Tokyo is known for the delicious dorayaki, which is a type of pancake sandwich typically typically filled with red bean custard, or in this case, chocolate! Oh my god, it's a pancake sandwich! I love pancakes, I love chocolate! Woohoo! I'm like mini pancakes! Oh man, I'm in heaven right now. Mm. This is 10 out of 10 best snack ever. Okay. Now this is mochi, uh -huh. cho mochi choco from Yamanashi. Uh, Yamanashi is known for the delicious and chewy mochi. And uh, Yamanashi, uh, this treat consists of a round mochi disc covered in chocolate and filled with a yummy chocolate cream. Can I try? I, huh? Can I try that? What? What was that? That was the chocolate pie thing. Oh, chocolate. I'm very much happy with this theme of chocolate stuff because I really like chocolate. At least, like, I know I'm always going to like something chocolate. I've never had mochi before, though. Though, like, everyone in J the Japan videos I watch talks about mochi. I've never had it myself. You have some at Walmart. What is it? Little dough with ice cream in it. Uh, what? All right. They have uh, cookies and cream. Um, it's very chewy. <laughs> it's very chewy, <laughs> but it, yeah, it's chocolate. It's very chewy. This has apples on it, which I am allergic to, so Rick's gonna have to taste that one too. It is, let me see, 
It is green apples in a bag from Al Mori. Al Mori is known for their delicious apples. That's why we decided to include a yummy green apple flavor treat for you to try, for Rick to try. Because again, I'm allergic to apples. Like very, very allergic. They make me very sick. I don't know if they have actual apples in them or it's just apple flavor, but I don't really want to risk it. Oh. Mm. Is it sour? No. Sometimes green apples are sour. These are a corn, hmm. I said corn weird, a corn potato snack from Hokkaido. There's a lot of stuff from Hokkaido here. They have multiple specialties, so I guess that explains why there's so much Hokkaido food here. It's a crunchy corn potato flavored crisps, and they're the perfect snacks that reflects one of Hokkaido's main specialties, which I guess is corn. It literally tastes like I'm eating canned corn, but in crunchy chip flavor. That's what it tastes like. Canned corn. Well, that does it for this November's uh, Tokyo Treat Box. I have to say that I had a lot more fun with this one than the previous one. There was a lot more stuff that I really, really enjoyed. Because, you know, like I said, I'm picky and... Um, last month's was a lot of gummy stuff, which I'm not really into gummy stuff that much, but this one had a lot of chocolate. And you know I love chocolate. So that is it for this video. Uh, next week, I'm going to be making a video basically talking about how anime has changed my life. So look forward to that and I will see you next weekend.